Hey guys, what is up? It's your boy Teddy here and welcome to another weekly b-boy tutorial. Today's tutorial is quite unique because I'm going to show you guys how to do one step to seven step in this video. And I know some of the steps I already did tutorial but it's okay because I'm just going to quickly go through every single one of them. And like always, make sure you hit that subscribe button and also turn on the notification icon so whenever I upload a new video, you will get notified. The first one, one step, also known as coffee grinder and also known as helicopter. You're going to start by squatting like this and the next move is you're going to swing your right leg and keep in mind you want to keep it straight, swing your right leg and then when your right leg is about to touch your left leg, you're going to jump with your left leg so that your right leg is uh, do a circle on the ground. Squat, keep it straight and start to swing and jump. All right. After the jump, all you have to do is just do it over and over and over again. The second one, two step, also known as mini swipe. For two step, you're gonna start by doing the one step or the coffee grinder. And then after you swing, you're gonna keep your swinging leg or your right leg onto the ground and keep your left leg straight. And then after that, you're gonna bring your left leg back in and do the swing again. All right, so I'm gonna show you guys. Straight, switch, and swing again. Now we're gonna do three step, and three step is more easier compared to two step because when you're doing three step, it's more rely on your footwork rather than your hip and your momentum. All right, so you're gonna start doing the three step by placing your both hand on the ground and doing the push up positions like this, okay? Now you're going to kick your left leg over where your right hand is. Kick, all right, and then you're going to switch. Now you're going to bend your left leg inward and bring your right leg out, okay? Now you're going to do the last step, which is you're going to uh, go back to the push up positions again. One more time positions one two switch one two switch now we are going to do the fourth step so for fourth step you're gonna start from the same positions which is the push up positions and then you're gonna swing your left leg to where your right hand is okay but this time you're gonna add in a jump so gonna do something like this one two all right so you see when I swing in I jump once and then uh, adding another jump okay one more time one two now for third step bring your left leg inward okay so this is third step and now I'm gonna swing your right leg again like always four Okay, now from here, gonna start continue from the same positions again, which is the double jump. One, two, three, four. Now we're gonna do the five step. So when you're doing five step, it's exactly like you're doing six step, but you're just gonna minus one step. And the difference is at the end of the step, you're gonna do some tweak, all right? So from the start, it's exactly same like six steps. So if you can master six steps, then this one should be no problem for you guys, all right? So we're gonna start from the same positions again, the push-up positions, all right? So one, two, three, four. All right, for this one, this part is the difference part, all right? You most likely gonna do a slide, so is you want to create a slight effect onto it you know something like this five all right and then you're gonna continue one two three four five okay so you skip one step all 
Alright, for the fifth step, you're gonna pull. Continue. Next, we are going to do the sixth step. So this step is also known as the most fundamental footwork or the most basic footwork that every b-boy must know. But if you just start learning b-boy, it's okay. But if you are a b-boy that already danced for quite a long time, you should already know to, how to do this. If you don't, uh, you should really master it, alright? So, we're going to start from the push-up position. Okay, step one. That's like straight out to where your right hand is. Two, you can see when the second step, my right leg is coming in, my left leg is bending. Okay, now for the third step, you're gonna swing or kick your left leg. Kick and pull it in. Okay, so this is the third step. Fourth step, again swing. Five, left leg going back. And six, back to the push-up positions. One more time. One. All right. Now, second step. Second step is the part where most people don't get confused. Watch closely when my left leg bend forward, my right leg is coming in. Two. Okay. Three. Four. Five. Six. Don't turn out. So what we're doing until this part, I show you. This first step, second step, third step. When your third step is about going to the fourth step, where I just just now I told you guys to kick your leg out. Remember to always do the kick. All right. Don't just no. You want to kick, kick and pull in. This is a crucial part. Remember that you can feel the whole difference if you do the kick and without the kick. So remember, always do the kick. All right, now we're gonna do the seventh step. So seventh step, again, same like sixth step, but you're gonna add in one more step onto it. Okay, so it's quite simple as well. There's one part that you need to take note of. Now we're gonna start from the push-up pushes again. All right, same thing, step one. Keep your left leg straight and bring your right hand up. Now, this is a step that makes a difference, alright? Your right leg, instead of bringing back in like this, you're gonna cross over. So your right leg now, you're gonna put in front of your left leg. Alright, and then continue. Kick, put it in. And do the same thing again, like this step. Okay, one more time. Alright, you can emphasize your hip more, so you move a little bigger. Kick. That's how you do the seventh step. So there you go guys, one step to seven step tutorial. And the reason I'm making this video is because I saw a lot of you guys when learning a certain move and you see that certain video, for example, you're learning six step, and that video only teach you guys a six step. All right, nothing wrong about that, but when you master that six step, you kind of forget to learn the other step. So the purpose of making this video is to let you guys know, at least give you guys a goal to master the whole thing, okay? So it doesn't really matter uh, which step you learn first, but I will suggest you guys to learn the six step first, and then the other you can pick and choose. All right, so, after six step, maybe I want to learn two step. Go ahead, but give give yourself a goal so that you want to master the whole thing. All right. So that's about it. Subscribe, like this video, give a thumbs up. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below, and I will see you guys next time.